Some of the potato enemies reach their destination by air, but others may already be in the soil, just waiting for the seed tuber to arrive to start their destructive work. One of the biggest problems we see at the moment is the high level of internal defects. These can be caused, among other things, by free-living nematodes that infect tubers with TRV. Potatoes infected with this virus have a lot of rusty brown spots on their flesh. This is bad from our point of view, because when you cut the potatoes to make French fries, they look as if they had spots, that is, defects. So we have to get rid of them during the processing. And that, of course, lowers the yield, doesn't it? It's becoming ever more complex, because in addition to potato cyst nematodes, we also suffer from Pratilenchus penetrans and Trichodorus, a wide range of nematode problems. Nematodes are tiny worm-like pests, only about a millimeter long. They are the hidden enemies, impossible to see by the naked eye. These parasites live on or in the roots of the plant. They literally suck the living energy out of the plants. This leads to small or deformed tubers that are impossible to sell for a decent price. Yield losses can be up to 50%. Nematodes survive as cysts here under the microscope or as free living worms for many years in the soil. So danger may lurk in any field. What happened here is that this is a parcel of long-term grassland. And sugar beet and corn were grown here the last three years. And this year, potatoes. The farmer did not expect any problems with nematodes and did not send in any soil samples to check the nematode contents of his field. A bad decision. And I see lots of problems, poorly growing spots, and it appears that there are nematodes in there, which the farmer had not expected. Some problems with nematodes can be reduced by choosing appropriate varieties. But if the customer demands a special variety that is susceptible to nematodes, in previous years there were no problems with nematodes. It's only since we started growing the variety Innovator that we've had this problem. Dark spots on the tubers basically mean that the potatoes can't be used for french fries, or indeed any other product for human consumption.